Hi guys, in this video we will start creating DICE login test. Also we will use page object model to describe our page pages. But first of all, if you don't have DICE account, go ahead and create one. And I have it here created. Uh, this is not my real DICE account, but just uh, I created this account just uh, for our automation project just to automate job search on this page and let's let me sign out first okay so here's gonna be the dice login page and I have the credentials saved but doesn't really matter uh, basically you just have to have them and that's it so now let's create uh, our first positive login test in login test class that extends base test. Uh, so let's go to this uh, package com.dice and create new class. Let's call it login test. And inside of this login test, let's create first test method. So test annotation, uppercase test and public void positive login test let's figure out our plan for this test so what we're gonna do in our positive login test so first of all we go to this page we type email we type password and we click sign in button and then we have to verify so when we click sign in button when we have our credential entered uh, profile page opens so the verification is gonna be verified that correct profile page opened uh, so before creating our test what I like to do I just write the plan for this test uh, as the comments. So later when the test is created, we don't, we don't need to comment everything because it's already commented. And before that, uh, yeah, I didn't import test annotation. So let's hover over our at test annotation, import test org test ng annotations. So annotation is imported, everything is okay. So first step is gonna be open dice login page and let's copy our URL here. Here's our dice login page. Second step, fill up email and password. Third step, push sign in button and wait for page to load. Uh, page, let's, let's say profile page, wait for profile page to load. And then we need to do verifications. So first verification is going to be, let's go to our dice space page again. Let's verify the title of the page. So let's view page source and let's see head title, where's title, title here. Let's go back to our Eclipse. Verify title of the page is correct. And here's our title. And let's verify that correct profile is loaded. So here's the name of the profile. So let's just verify that the correct name, that on this page there is a correct name. Uh, let's go back to our Eclipse verify the correct name on profile page 
So this is gonna be our plan for this test, for this test case. And actually, if you have a nice uh, test case already written, you can just paste it here. Uh, I mean, at your real job, when you're developing your automation test, if you already have test cases, if you don't need to create test cases on the go, then just copy, paste it here, and just go from there. Now, let's create base page object and two page object, one for login page, uh, one for profile page and one for our login page. So page in page object, we're gonna describe our pages. Okay, so here in our base package, uh, let's create new class and let's call it base page object. And in this base page object, we're gonna put all the methods or variables that we will use on our every page object. So instead of uh, creating same method, same methods in each page object, we're just gonna create them here uh, the same way as we have base test. And in our each page object, we will use these methods from base page object. So first of all, let's uh, let's make it type T. So our base page page object will have the type of the page object we're gonna use. Now, in our base page object, we need to create constructor method. So let's do it. Let's make it protected protected base page object let's format our page and our base page object will have our driver so web driver driver now let's import web driver dependency now let's Let's create our driver uh, variable. Let's create our web driver variable and make it protected also. Also, uh, oh, yeah, and this driver will equal our driver like that. Now, and let's also create a web driver wait. So for web driver wait, let's go to this page, to Selenium Java, uh, Maven dependency. Let's copy all this stuff from here and add it to our palm, test, uh, palm XML file, to our dependencies. So here in dependencies, just paste wherever you copy there doesn't want to automatically format it so let me do it manually save and right click on our project maven update project so now we have selenium dependency and we can use web driver wait so protected let's create a variable the driver wait uh, oh yeah of course name wait let's import org org open qa selenium support ui and here let's create our weight. Weight will gonna equal new web driver weight driver. Uh, let's make default timeout 40 seconds. Should be enough to load our pages. 
okay we have base page object created now let's create our login page object and profile page object uh, so let's create another package under source main java so new package and let's call it com dice dot pages finish and let's create our first login page object new class login page or page object I will name it login page so our login page is gonna extend base not not the base test do we have it here should be here base base page object of type t but it's not gonna be type t it's gonna be login page type so login page extends base page object of type login page so let's save it uh, it's highlighted add constructor yep. let's add the constructor and save so constructor created and we have the super driver that that means that when we're gonna create login page we're gonna get driver from test and this driver will go directly to base page, page object and here in base page object our driver is protected so our login page can use our driver and let's do exactly the same for our next uh, page object which will be profile page and public constructor let's check this button constructors from superclass so it will automatically create our constructor uh, well it created but it's not exactly what we need so extends base page object of class profile of type profile page let's save uh, let's hover over our constructor uh, implicit super constructor patch in undefined blah 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 so our constructor will receive web driver driver and super driver is it correct yeah i just need to import web driver so hover over import web driver um, and that's it so now we have base page object login page and profile page that's it for today